You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Sunny, warm, and a little breezy today. This is a live look over to Hama County. Just weeks ago, what you're looking at right here was completely covered in snow. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking the ever-changing forecast. Jason, it feels like it switched so quickly. <laughs> yeah, just uh, switching yeah. off the uh, going from heating to the air conditioning of the thermostat. Yeah, we do have more of a summer-like feel outside instead of the winter, but we're not going to just stay with this heat that we're going to have later in the week all the way through the summer. We actually have a change in just the seven day forecast low, which I'm going to show you coming up in a second. This morning with the breezes, it was mild. This morning we had lows in the 40s, 50s, even 60s in the valley. But when we didn't have that wind, we didn't have the warmth. Had overnight lows in the 20s and 30s in the mountains. But look where the highs were today. Now our average high in Redding is 75. The record high is 98, just about exactly in the middle. That's where our high today was at 87 degrees. It was also 87 degrees Red Bluff, 84 in Chico, Paradise really comfortable, 78 this afternoon, only a few serious clouds outside, no rain or snow bearing clouds for now, but it's going to be changing a little bit later in the forecast. Tonight through tomorrow morning, a mostly clear sky, we'll have a mostly sunny sky on Wednesday, weaker wind too, we had a lot of breezes from last night through this afternoon, that will continue through tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, it will be weaker breezes moving in from the north, we'll still have a mostly sunny sky to sunny sky all over over Northern California Thursday, Friday and Saturday as this ridge continues to strengthen and it's going to be at its maximum strength both Friday and Saturday afternoon with temperatures between 15 and 20 degrees hotter than it should be for the last few days of April and the first few days of May. However, when May is going to get here, that's when another Pacific storm is going to get here on the last day of April on Sunday, increasing clouds, more breezes. There is a slight chance for some valley rain and mountain snow late Monday into Tuesday. You'll definitely feel the cool down and we'll also have some breezes. Now I want to show you one of our long-term forecast models and you'll notice how much precipitation it brings. Most places staying fairly light, less than a couple tenths of an inch. However, it is widespread for everyone. In the second half hour, I'm going to show you our other forecast model, which has a little bit different idea of what's going to be happening as far as our rain and our snow is concerned. And as far as the wind goes, we're still going to have the breezes late tonight through early tomorrow, pushing right down through the valley and through the canyons between 10 and 25 miles an hour, but once we get to the afternoon hours, it's going to be a lot weaker and we're going to have more sunshine and more warmth with temperatures in the valley getting close to 90 degrees as early as tomorrow afternoon. But because of all the heat, we also have the potential for some more snow melt for our area. So we're going to have the better chance for some flooding occurring in a few locations in the eastern part of our state. So a flood watch from Thursday afternoon through Monday morning for eastern Modoc, eastern Plumas, and also Lassen County with temperatures still rising well above average. So for tonight and tomorrow, we're going to have a Big change in those temperatures for the northwest, expecting highs in the 70s and 80s tomorrow afternoon. For the northeast, cool in the morning and warm in the afternoon with highs also in the 70s and 80s. For the ridge, lows tonight mainly in the 50s, highs mostly 70s, paradise up to 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. For the valley, mild tonight under a mostly clear sky, lows in the lower to mid 50s, highs tomorrow in the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees. And for the Chico area, lows tonight also in the lower to mid 50s, highs mid to upper 80s, close to 90 degrees degrees tomorrow and will be in the 90s by Thursday, Friday and Saturday up to 93 in Chico both Friday and Saturday before we really cool down next week. And for the Reading area, upper 80s close to 90 degrees tomorrow, 90 to 95 Thursday through Sunday, dropping down to the lower 80s Monday with a slight chance for showers and breezes and a better chance for showers with highs in the 70s a week from today. So much going on, Jason. Thank you. And you can see